Hey everybody, welcome to Average Guy Opinions. I'm your Average Guy, John Corelli. Uh, gonna probably go on a ramble about where I work, but something funny that happened this week and something interesting that is happening in my life because of the place where I work. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I work in a school uh, with at-risk kids. Uh, we have about 100, probably even less than that, um, uh, students in our school. Uh, we've got two weeks left, and May is hard, April is hard on not only the kids, but the staff. Everyone's just trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, having said that, I, I really like it there. I love the challenge of working there. Um, it can be difficult. I've been hit. I've been bit. I've been kicked. I've, had a th I've been hit with a shoe. Uh, <laughs> a lot of interesting stuff has happened. And I'm going to be honest, I have one of the easiest jobs, if not the easiest job, in the entire building. I'm not a counselor. I don't have to, I don't have to do deal with administrative stuff. I'm not even a lead teacher. And so I don't have to uh, have the credentials that and, and, and deal with IE, IEPs, which are individual enter, entertainment, Jesus, individual education plans. Uh, I don't have to deal with testing. I don't have to deal with supervising others. You know, I just deal with the kids and that can be hard, but it's not, it is probably, I don't have to be a security person and get kicked. You should see the bruises on the women's shins uh, that lead our security team because they wear shorts because they have to wear shorts so they can run fast to chase kids when they decide to take off and try to be off campus. Uh, so knowing all that, I know I have quite possibly the easiest or at least one of the easiest jobs in the building. Um, and even then, it's a challenge. I, but I love it there. I've fallen in love with this place. Um, I... Uh, I've been there since August and all in two weeks, I'll have been there for a full school year. I will also work in June, um, which is, uh, called ESY the extended school year. We do half days. I'll be working with my friend, Kristen, and we will, uh, try to get some more book learning into these kids in the few hours we have with them each day. Uh, but having said all that, having set the table with where I work and what I generally do, a um, couple things. Uh, something that has really happened was a beautiful thing. Uh, I'm better, I'm more patient, and I'm better at le leading with love than I ever have been in my entire life. At 56, I'm going the opposite direction of which I thought I would go at this point, or which uh, conventional thinking says you will go, which you get crustier, and you get more set in your ways, and you get less open to things. And maybe in some ways that's true. There's, I do believe in myself and the way I teach after nine years as an educator and after 26 years as a parent of a special needs kid. I do work with the special needs kid, uh, kids. I didn't explain that or uh, <clears throat> necessarily reiterate that, but I have... I know I've talked about that a lot in past videos that I, <clears throat> I work with the special needs kids in our school. And that's also one of the reasons I think my job is the easiest that my, our kids are not very violent. They can be got a few that have, like I said, I was, I've been bitten twice this year. Uh, that's never happened in my past. I've been bitten in the past in the nine years I've worked, but maybe a few times in in that entire nine years maybe bitten five so i'm doubling my average actually quadrupling my average um by have having been bit twice this year in one school year um but having once again i'm going to say having said that apparently a lot in this video i'm trying not to be too rep repetitive repetitive as i wanted to say i have <laughs> sorry i haven't had that much caffeine today but i feel like i'm high on caffeine right now Leading with love, being more patient than I ever had in my life. Like I said a couple minutes ago or a minute ago that at 56, you don't expect to discover these things about yourself necessarily, or at least um, classically, you don't. So here I am. But I want to tell you something funny that happened uh, the last couple days. So... Um, I start my day off outside with the kids. We have security people and there's myself and my, my partner, Tammy. We are the two paras in, in, on the high school, uh, in the high school room for the, the ASD kids. And we have a lead teacher, Lynn. She's wonderful. And then on the other side was where I started my year was with the middle schoolers and Kristen and, uh, Am I almost called her Amber again, Ashley and, uh, Emily who work on that side of the room. But anyway, Man, I am sorry. This is more, way more of a ramble than I wanted it to be. Here's what happened. Here's what made me laugh this week. Um, 
we had some extra string cheese. We had a pirate day last Friday, eight days ago, uh, where we got the kids and I may, I don't think I've mentioned this actually. Um, we had pirate day and the people dressed up like pirates. I did a stupid version of that. We had fun all day. And one of the things we did is we had a bunch of snacks for the kids. And one of the, one of those snacks was a string cheese with a little pirate map written on it very intricately by a bunch of teachers who worked very hard. And so we ended up with a bunch of extras. They're in the refrigerator at my school as we speak. And once in a while this week, I've gotten one or two. And I was eating one as I went out to help with the kids to get them on the bus at the end of the day. And since I'm 56 years old and I'm not a child, I don't do the string thing with cheese anymore. I don't peel it like a banana and eat it that way. I just go down like it's a telephone pole and just eat it, right? Or a popsicle or whatever cylindrical thing you would eat uh, because I'm an adult. And uh, a couple of people saw me eating the string cheese that way and were like, what are you doing? Like, I go, I'm eating this. And they're like, why aren't you tearing it down like a string cheese? Because I, go, I have an ARP card because <laughs> I'm 56 years old and I eat it the way I want to eat it. And they're like, how could you do that? And I'm like, it's not wine. I'm not going to aerate and enhance the flavor <laughs> of string cheese by tearing it apart, right? You know, it's not like I got to decant it like a wine and wait 45 minutes or whatever. No, it's string cheese. It's salty and it tastes decent. <laughs> it's not like it's a cheese from Europe that I need to worry about. So I thought that was funny. So now, now people looking at me like I'm a savage for having eaten string cheese like this. This is all in good fun, by the way. Nobody was truly offended, but they're just like, you know, we flip each other's shit. Because we're like a family. We're a big dysfunctional family. All of us, I think the reason we do our job and do well as well as we can with these kids because we've all dealt with stuff. You know, I, you guys know about my daddy and stepdaddy issues. You guys um, know that I've made mistakes in the past, including cheating on my wife, who's right in the next room right now. My ex-wife, of course. Uh, and dealing with something that I'll get to in the next video. But <laughs> we... <laughs> We are. We're just this. We've all, I know you can just smell it on each other that we've dealt with abuse uh, on a real level. That uh, we're very, most of us are quite educated and very empathetic. And that's why we're here. And that's why we're trying to make a difference in these kids' lives who really, really need it. You know, they haven't gotten the parenting they've needed just like many of us didn't. They haven't gotten, you know, the, the care they've needed like many of us didn't. And so we're attuned to that and we're good at it and we do our best. And so that's why it's even more fun to become finally part of this dysfunctional family that leads with love and have them give you shit about string cheese. So, so right after, uh, can I have a minute, please? Um, just in the middle of a video, my ex-wife interrupted me, but not a big deal. So the string cheese, there's actually a band called the string cheese incident. So now that's what I'm going to call this from now on is string cheese incident. And so I told this person, one of my, she's my friend Heather. We have two Heathers there that I'm friends with already. One is security Heather, the other is first grade para Heather. I love you both if for some reason you ever saw this video. And so she's like, what is wrong with you? I go, oh, oh great many things. Uh, eating string cheese the wrong way is the probably the least of one of them. And so, the, so I said, you know what I'm going to do next? I'm going to take a Kit Kat bar. I'm going to eat it like a sandwich. I'm not going to snap the pieces off. I'm going to eat it like a sandwich, like a bloody savage would. And she's like, don't you dare. So yesterday I got a Kit Kat bar and ate it in front of her like that. <laughs> and she was just like, you motherfucker. <laughs> and it's, like I said, it's all good fun, but it's fun to just fuck with people and have them fuck with you back. That's what a family does. And then uh, one of her, uh, uh, Joy, one of her... Uh, She's also in security. She used to be an art, the art teacher, but she needed more money. So she got into the security end of it and she's really good. Joy's amazing with all of our kids. And Joy goes, you know, what? you know, it'd really be fucked up if you ate a burrito from the middle first. I go, I'm doing it. <laughs> and it was teacher appreciation week. And lo and behold, there were breakfast burritos and I got one. And at the end of the day, yesterday on Friday, I go out there, I unwrap it real slowly, the foil slowly. I go, Hey, Heather, check this out. And I'm putting it to my lips. She goes, don't you fucking dare. And I just, ah, right in the middle of it. <laughs> and she's like, you motherfucker. And, and, you know, she's like, you're lucky there are, there are, there are no kids here. And you're lucky there are witnesses because I would have ended you for that. And I go, hey, check it out. And Joy's like, yeah, Joy said, suggested this. And I turn it over and then eat it and eat it on, again in the middle to break it in half. And I go, you know what? It, you know what I'm finding? It tastes way better this way. <laughs> So I turned over, did it again. And she's like, oh, and I'm like, I got a half a burrito in each hand. I'm just laughing my ass off. 
So there's a 10 minute babble about a day in the life or part of a week in the life. I mean, we do actually educate kids when we're there, by the way. <laughs> it's not just us fucking around all the time. But uh, yeah, those are the last three days after school. What happened, which well, yeah, I'm, heretofore will be known as the string cheese incident. Um, so there you go. Uh, <laughs> That's all I got. I will, I'll, I've got more stuff to talk about, but we'll end this video now. All right. Thanks guys. Uh, I hope you're all doing as well as I am. I, I, I feel like I'm high on string cheese and uh, talk to you guys soon. All right. Thanks. Bye.